Sup, y'all, bring you guys in our video. So, what do you guys think about a fight between Jaime Mongia and Kanat Islam? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, in my opinion, I think this is a good fight. I say, let's see it. Make it happen. The managers, the promoters behind these two fighters. Let's see this fight. Please, please agree on something to deliver us this fight in May. If you guys don't know, Jaime Munguia has uh, been in talks with Triple G. Uh, possibly uh, a May return. Uh, maybe even April. Uh, but uh, it's looking unlikely at the point. At the moment, seems like Triple G is more in talks with fighting Morata for a title unification fight. So, if things don't go well for Munguia and Triple G, apparently Kanat Islam is a uh, option for Munguia, which is not a bad choice in my opinion. There's been talks about this fight taking place before, if I remember correctly. I remember making videos about this fight, uh, this potential fight uh, back when I had the Boxing Sphere channel. Um, so it's not really old news about these two fighting each other. Uh, it just seems like it's looking more of a reality. Because I think I remember making it last year. I think before my channels got removed. I remember making it. But here it is. Um, you know, Mungia, to those who still don't know who he is, he's a 24 year old fighter from Mexico, 36 and 0, undefeated, 29 wins come by way of Nakar TKO. He is now competing at 160 pounds. Um, he's pretty much next in line for the WBO title. Um, by the way, if you guys don't know, WBO title is held by Andre, who's uh being ordered to fight Liam Williams, so we'll see how that will play out. So, Mungia. Exciting fighter coming off wins against Toriano Johnson. Kanat Islam is, I'm pretty sure, is somebody that a lot of uh, fans don't know. Kanat Islam is from Kazakhstan as well. If you guys didn't know that, 27 and 0, 21 wins coming by way of Nakar Tiki. A very good fighter, tough fighter, exciting fighter as well. He hasn't fought since 2019. Um, obviously, with the pandemic going on, it's prevented fighters uh, from fighting. Uh, staying active throughout 2020 and um, yes, yeah, it's just unfortunate, but hopefully this year will be a better year for everybody Kanat Islam is um, Undefeated for a reason, but he has yet to fight a big name and I think he deserves to fight a big name And this is a big fight. I think he deserves to fight somebody in like Mungia So, uh, you know, I'd love to see Kanat get Islam get an opportunity to fight in the US it Looks like he's fought in the US a few times before um but not really in a major, major fight. Uh, so, yeah, keep an eye on that kind of Islam, man. Search him up. He's someone to keep an eye on. I mean, he's 36 years old now, but he, he still has a lot of fight left in him. If you look at the rankings, like I was saying earlier, Andre's a champion. He's being ordered to fight Liam Williams. Mungia is pretty much next in line after that. And Kanat Islam is right there, number four by the WBO. So... Not a bad fight. Styles make fights also. And this fight. Oh, if you see how Kanat is on fight. This fight will be a... You will be entertained. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.